Welcome to this week's edition of the Coaches Show, week two, with athletic director and head coach, Coach Quinlan, here to talk about Farmersville's win over Eustis last week, 53 to nothing. Coach, got to feel pretty good as a way to open up a season? Yeah, no, I mean, anytime you win 53 to nothing, things went right. right. The ball bounced your way. So, um, you know, in the three years I've been here, I think that's probably as clean a football game as we've played as far as penalties and as far as not turning the ball over, b making great tackles, doing the things that we – Doing their assignments. Exactly. Doing doing the things that we were coaching them to do. Good. And, you know, when you look at the film and you see that, that makes you feel a lot better as a coach. Well, and you and I talked about uh, going into that game, you talked about discipline. And you just mentioned there, like, there were very few flags against mm -hmm. the Farmers. And, and they did a really good job of not falling for, you know, some of those reactionary penalties that they would have in the past. So I think that it's got to feel good to see that kind of coming to fruition on the yeah. field. Yeah, and seeing the growth is, is important. So, you know, that, you know, the, we're not always going to be the most athletic team on the field. And if we can show up and do everything right, we can put a team that's more athletic than we are or bigger and stronger than we are in a bind because now they're able to – the, their mistakes are going to compound right. and ours don't. Right. So, you know, that's where, you know, in the past couple of years, that's where we've struggled is when we've made those mistakes, now they start to compound yep. and, and it digs us in a hole. Yeah. Well, and you'd mentioned too in our last meeting about the O-line being one of the strengths – you rushed for over 400 yards, had a couple of different guys score touchdowns on the ground. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me about like what is that O line room feeling like right now? Is there a lot of confidence? Yeah, absolutely. Is there... You know, they're they're confident and and not cocky in any way because the O linemen typically are not. They're <laughs> right, just not yeah. those guys. But you know, you think about the, those guys have been together. They're having fun. I mean, that's they're starting to see their their all their work starting to pay off. And, you know, you know, I live with one of them. So, you know, you, listening to him talk and, and listening to them as talk as a group, you know, they, they feel that confidence and they feel they feel like they're going in the right direction. And, you know, and they're getting patted on the back a little bit. I mean, I know that, you know, watching the live stream, because we always do it as coaches, we'll watch it the, that night and just to kind of review it because before our film gets all broke sure. down. And, um, you know, you y'all commenting on them and they I mean they love that. They eat that all up. So hey, you know, they deserved it. Yeah, they did a great no, they job. They did a great job and they're opening big holes and it makes it easy for those guys that are getting the ball. So if we can maintain that throughout the year we'll have a lot of success offensively. Well you get you have over five hundred yards of offense. You don't give up any points, but Coach's job is to find a way to get better, right? So yeah. what did you find on film? What are the things that you really want to work on now? You know, offensively, we've got to throw the ball better. I mean, that's something that we've got to do a better job of. Mm -hmm. We didn't, you know, I don't I don't remember what the completion percentage was, but it was somewhere around 50. Right. Um, that's not good enough. We need to be over 70. Um, you know, and we've got to be able to throw the football because at some point somebody's going to pack the box and say, sure. you're not running the football. Right. And so we've got to be able to spread that field out and make them – have to play the entire field and when that happens we're going to have a lot of success so you know that's something that we've worked hard on this week and then special teams wise obviously we've got to do a better job kicking field goals and yep. and uh if you were to ask any one of my coaches right now they're tired of seeing us kick field goals because we've been doing it all week long <laughs> right um but you know it's one of those things that 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 extra point's got to be automatic it's got to be that and it's not just on our kickers I mean it's it's a snap hold kick it was it was a combination of yeah. all three of it's them a in the game. Thing, yeah. Right? yeah, it was a combination of all three of them in the game last week. Um, it wasn't on Jackson Madrid or or Daniel Mendoza, the kickers that were kicking it. It was on our snappers and our holders, and, and we rotated a few different guys in there. And hopefully, you know, through the multiple reps they got this week, that we're a little bit more confident and a little bit more accurate this weekend. Well, and speaking of rotating guys in, we saw some new guys, you know, getting some playing time in the backfield and at your skills positions and some new guys rotating on defense. Are, are there a couple of guys that really kind of showed you something where they maybe get a little bit more playing time? You know, I, I think that our depth is, is a lot better than what we've had for sure. Um, I don't think that any one of them stood out in my mind. There's a lot of guys that got that first varsity experience on Friday yeah. night yeah. and got to see the speed and got to in, in, be a part of that. And I think – you know, anytime you get that experience, it's it's big and it's yep. huge. Um, but I mean, they're that having depth, just like we talked about last week with the quarterback, having depth and them having that experience, and then now being able to press that guy that's in front of him a little bit and make him keep growing, makes us practice better, yep. makes us better football team all the way around. Well, when they, when they do get on the field, man, they're hungry, like they're ready to get back out. They're not mm -hmm. nervous now. Mm -hmm. It's more about getting out there and doing something. So you'd mentioned earlier one of your answers about playing those teams that may be a little bit more athletic or maybe a little bit bigger. 
and talking to some of the coaches about Molina, it sounds like they've got some good athletes out there. So let's talk about those guys and kind of what the strategy is going to be on, on taking on Molina this this coming Friday. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about a completely 360 from what we just saw. You know, the offensively, they're going to be 50-50 run pass. Um, not real complicated in what they do, but just like you said, they've got athletes, and when you get those guys into space, right. if we're not rallying to tackle them and, and, and running as a defense to get there, then they can make big plays on us. And so that's going to be really important for us this week is that we're, we're running to the football and we're gang tackling and we're not just letting one guy f feel like that guy's got the tackle and then he shimmies away and now all of a sudden he's right. gone. Right. So uh, that's something we worked on in practice all week. We had a great, practice, great week of practice, not just defensively, but I thought we did on offense too. So, I mean, um, you know, I think that we're, we're prepared for Molina they're just a different brand of football than what we just played. So, you know, getting getting that mindset down and understanding that, you know, we can't play we can't play like we did last week right. and expect the same results. We're going to have to play a little bit different brand of football as far as uh, what they're going to do to us and and understand that. And so, we'll show a few things defensively this week that we weren't able to show last week with, mm -hmm. and uh, I know we're excited about that and then you know the you we're gonna be you know we're gonna be who we are offensively. Yep. We're gonna try to bully him around a little bit up front and and run the ball at him. And then, like I said, we want to be able to work that passing game and get that going. And hopefully, that'll get going this week. Yeah, well, Reyes averaged over ten yards a carry. I mean, mm -hmm. they they really showed they can do that. And so you're talking about bullying him around. Guys like that. The offensive line likes to. Oh, they that, love don't it. They? They, they love it. They love it. That's so, that's, that's what yeah. they want. Is they want you to call that play where they mm -hmm. can put their hands on somebody and push them out of the way. Mm -hmm. So, well, let's talk about the lower levels. We do that every week. Big win last week. Um, how are those guys progressing? I mean, what are you kind of expecting out of them? Yeah, I mean, forty to nothing. I mean, with the JV group last week against Eustis, which is huge. Um, the you know the more they win, the more confidence they're going to get. I mean, the sophomore group. I, I think I was looking at schedules to, or records today. I think they were one and eight as eighth graders. Wow. So, you know, for them to start getting those wins and yep. start to get those confidence is going to be yep. huge for them. Um, you know, like I said last week, we don't have – I think we have one sophomore on the varsity, Daniel Mendoza, who is the other kicker. Mm -hmm. um, but the, all of our skill positions and linemen kids are all staying down, playing JV football and growing in that in that aspect of things. And, you know, hopefully they're gaining confidence down there. And, and, you know, and with the freshmen mixed in with them. Right. When, and I think that, you know, there's a good mix of kids down there that we're excited about. And, and we'll, we'll see on tomorrow night how, how that goes with them against Molina. But I feel like, you know, I think this is a team that could be definitely 2-0 and after tomorrow night. Well, and there is no really substitute for game experience, right? And so having them down there and getting all those reps and, and, and reps, learning how yeah. to win, I mean, that's going to pay off in the future for sure. So, mm -hmm. well, Coach, good luck this week. Dallas Molina on Friday. Um, is it going to be 7 30? Are they going to 7 30? 7 30, normal time. So if you guys can't make it through all that traffic in Dallas, uh, find us on uh, YouTube um, and pull up the uh, KMFV, KFMV uh, station and subscribe to that because if you do that, every time that uh, there's a new video up, you guys will get notified of that and you'll, you'll be able to, it'll be real easy for you to find us. So um, as always, good luck, coach, and go farmers.